Welcome to our TV. Today, in the program uh, called Teaching English to the Sheep, we will discuss about how we should learn English. Whether we live in villages, whether we live in towns, or whether we live in cities, when as kids we go to school as adults you go to you know college or as employees as teachers many of you are generally scared of english language now one of the feelings that many indians have is that english is not our language it is very very difficult to learn english therefore don't bother this is because from childhood at home children are taught to speak their own home language or state language let us say telugu tamil malayalam hindi whatever is the home language in in tribal areas they speak you know koya gondu or uh, banjara language or whatever tribal language could be that is their home language therefore they think that you know what is not home language is very difficult that to english is much more difficult than any other language to learn now when you are students in the school normally teachers along with teaching you how to learn a b c d what we call alphabet writing and then along with alphabets they also gradually teach uh you know sentences a for apple they say b for bat they say c for cat they say and so on but that that sentences can be different actually these sentences are not uh about the familiar uh things like apple fruit for all because apple is not very much known in the villages it is known in the urban areas let us say a for ant b for buffalo c for of course cat right things like that we go on talking and making sentences but after you go upwards into class 7 8 and so on teachers normally teach about grammar now when they teach grammar they tell the students that english is a difficult subject and you have to speak and write only according to grammar now when a new language is taught when the fear of grammar is put into the mind of school children then they become very scary they get afraid of it because the same problem of speaking according to grammar is not there in the childhood language that a child learns let us say no mother or no grandmother or no father no grandfather when they talk to the children or children when they talk to each other they don't first learn grammar and talk to each other they learn language as they go on listening to the language what are you know people around saying in that particular language you no know, mother keeps telling you know drink your milk eat your food 
and you know go and play and come and help me these are simple sentences and they are automatically learnt by the children in the process of learning carefully from what mother says what others say what father says or what brothers and sisters say or what friends say so there is nothing like grammar when you are being taught at home now this same thing happens in countries where english is home language they also don't teach children first grammar and then after that they begin to speak then after that going to school and so on they begin to write no it's not like that writing of course is learned slowly over a period of time after you children after children become you know 6 uh, year old or 7 year old or 8 9 10 so on gradually but speaking is not like that speaking is as you keep on listening you learn the language uh, and then as you keep on writing first letters and then words then sentences you also automatically learn writing without even much bothering about grammar so what are two things that children or adults or elders even the old people who want to learn english let us say in telangana andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka uttar pradesh wherever the best way to learn english is start listening regularly you keep on listening when others are speaking or now you have youtubes you have tvs you have you know so many facilities even at within your own phone there are youtubes which uh, can provide you the uh, english speaking uh, youtubes so you can listen whenever you are free whenever you are or the other way is you can listen when your parents can speak english so only parents have to consciously speak english if they are already educated they know english at home because parents don't understand those who are graduates post graduates or even doctorates they are engineers doctors and so on even professors they avoid speaking in english even though they do their work in the office or teach in the school college in english they don't speak in english at home now that is a problem if you speak english at home to your children at least for some time on daily basis they begin to respond to you in english without bothering about grammar because grammar is necessary only in certain forms once you are in class 7 class 8 if you learn some basic grammar that is enough but what is more required is how you constantly talk to each other this is called conversation every parent or every friend or every other person who knows english if they converse in english only then those who do not know reasonably speaking english they be begin to learn it english is easiest language to learn then let us say see we, we are born in a telugu speaking family 
but quite easily in uh, telangana region let us say people uh, learn speaking in hindi and urdu though the family does not speak but in the market in the friend circle occasionally people talk about uh, things in uh, hindi or urdu that language automatically comes to your brain even though it is not spoken at your home now what is a language actually how does grammar connect the language language is nothing but you have different things at home or in the market or in the college you have names for everything so the first thing is you should know number of words to name each item that you know or you know the words to connect with one another and form a sentence now what are the sentences that you normally uh, use even in your own known home language very simple sentences let us say you know if you are a child or if you are an adult if you are at home your mother asks you what are you doing where are you going did you eat your food or would you like to do this so these these are first questions so language begins with questions any child learning begins with questions so you ask questions without bothering about grammar whether one word you are putting in the front one word you are putting on the back side or where it doesn't matter if you have few words then you can uh, communicate so communication is nothing but whether what you are saying is being understood by the other person with you or not that's what language is language does not mean that in a particular structural form you will have to speak no each one has one own way to speak so therefore uh, english learning in the speaking form is absolutely easy if you first start speaking to each other in the limited vocabulary that you have then how do you write writing is slightly difficult you know all english know you knowing people are not writers what every child at the end of their school examination is they write school examination and they write some notes or some mathematics or some needed things but uh, all do not become writers there is no need for Uh, becoming a writer to speak in english or communicate in english and become an expert in english at all now how do you write you write only when you read more and more so this is a very important thing in india people don't read books people don't seriously read newspapers people don't read stories people don't tell the stories that they read to others so parents who are educated should develop a habit of reading books or newspapers or stories or novels in the presence of the children that is the greatest method that parents can teach knowledge to children and particularly in english that is a very good method and that's how i learned constantly reading and reading and reading and speaking and speaking even if you don't know much how to speak you may be as i am speaking to you i may be committing number of mistakes doesn't matter that's not the problem the problem is whether people are understanding it or not so please start speaking reading and then writing
Thank you very much. The next lesson will be on how our cities developed from villages. Thank you. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. RTV, RTV Telugu, RTV, RTV Telugu, RTV Telugu, RTV Telugu.